I kind of wish it wasn't moving so soon because I really, uh, and now the sun's going behind a cloud, frig sakes. I'm out here with no shirt on because it's friggin' warm out, it's nice. But uh, anyways, I wish, well, here's the old headlight from the Jetta. Oops. Anyways, um, for a third time, I wish I wasn't moving so soon so I could start another project because right now I really kind of sit and idle because I can't really work on anything that requires extensive work. So like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for interesting YouTube videos. So, I don't know. The wildlife. Oh look, you can tell. The wildlife. Well, I submitted a new uh, drawing for a new front bumper I'm gonna be making. Um, it's not gonna have a winch mount on it though. I'm going to have to build a hitch receiver winch, winch mount for this winch because, uh, well, I lose a lot of approach angle, not that I really need it, but uh, I can a new bumper will be pretty nice. So it's all going to be out of uh, square stock. It'll be flat. It's going to be right flush, as close as I can get it to the front of the frame. Um, it's going to be two inches by eight inches tall out of quarter inch wall stuff. What I'm basically doing since uh, that tube would be really expensive is I'm just stacking four two by twos. So it's going to be really freaking beef. It'll be heavy too. But uh, I won't be able to break that. Not that I've broken this one, but uh, bring it's cold. <clears throat> um, and I'm going to have a hitch receiver in the front. I'm going to have two holes cut out. Holes for these hella lights and my other driving lights that I was going to put in this bumper. I've also got a... Well, I've uh, mapped out the signal lights too, so they'll, they'll be going almost where they are now. And then it'll be the big lights and then... Oh, apologize, then the small lights. Oh. I've also designed it so that it wraps around to the back here, and it'll be one down, and then it'll start to taper in, so it'll be really cool. I don't even know if you guys just saw that, because I was aiming the camera. Frig sakes, but um, for the winch, for power for the winch, I'm going to... I want to see if I can get... Um, there's like... I've seen them on semi trucks and stuff. They've got um, plugs, but they're like a single really big plug and you can just, it's like a quick disconnect for power. So I'm gonna run two of those, uh, one set on the front and one set on the rear so that I can mount the winch in the back if I need to. I suppose I could uh, start taking measurements and stuff because um, Pretty soon here, I want to start uh, building some stuff for the Toyotas. Uh, one of them will be like a top axle gusset. Um, I'm also going to do them on the back, like what I've got, because that just adds wicked strength. Like, I don't think I've heard of anybody bending their rear axle, but you definitely won't with those on it. But I was talking to Mike today, and if I start making a lot of stuff, I'm going to have to get an account made at work because uh, I won't be able to just cut whatever I want whenever I want for free. So I asked him how much they uh, charge to run the laser and for just regular customers it's $300 an hour. That's expensive. <laughs> I don't think I'll be paying that much but uh, probably going to take it easy on the laser cut stuff. I'll try to do a lot with the plasma cutter. And uh, the stuff that I absolutely need laser cut, I'll get it cut. Um, as long as I'm like moderate on it or really easy on it, then uh, I don't think they'll have a problem with it. So that's pretty cool. One thing that kind of frustrates me though is uh, I've been running with After Hours Fab for 
what, four years or something now that's been my name, but I just, well, not just found out, but my buddy Sean just reminded me, like, he told me this once before, but I guess I forgot, um, that somebody's already registered that name, so I can't have that as a company name, because I don't want to get sued or nothing, so, um, I was tossing out names and stuff, and he suggested, um, like, I need to keep the AHF, because I've got AHF on everything, my front bumper, my freaking rear axle and stuff, and it's just, I like those letters, so we were trying to come up with, uh, a name that used those letters, so I figured I'd use my forum, YouTube, everything name, and, uh, so that was the A, analog, and then I was having a hell of a time coming up with an H, and he suggested heavy, and so did Tony, uh, Limitless Graphics, because, like, I'm talking about the stickers and stuff, so, um, I needed to change the After Hours Fab to something else, <clears throat> so I don't get sued and stuff, so I think I'll be going with, uh, Analog Heavy Fab, because... Like, all my stuff's friggin' heavy duty. Like, I over-engineer it, over-build it, because, you know, it's better to have it too strong. But, I guess I'll try to find something to do. Maybe I'll make the bumper in 3D for frig's sakes. Because I'm just bored. I'm bored! Well, apparently that last part didn't record, I actually ended up hitting record twice or something, so it friggin'... All I record is me walking from the front here out to buy my 4Runner, but, uh... Anyways, I hate it when that happens. So, for the fabrication end of things, what I plan on doing is offering the front axle armor gusset. I'll see if I can do shackles. Um, I think it was Levy who I was talking to about the rear, or the trans transfer case disc brake e-brake option. Um, if I can make one, for, like, if, even if I could just make the, um, mounting plate and just tell you guys what to go out and get from the junkyard, you guys can just have at her. Um, another thing I'm probably going to be offering is the big brake kit. I'm going to machine a bunch of IFS hubs down and, uh, make it so you can fit a 98 Tacoma rotor over top of them. And then, uh, more than likely the rear disc brake option. But that does not have an e-brake. That's why they suggested coming up with a kit for the transfer case uh, e-brake. So, um, the only thing with that is I'm gonna have to get a couple of different transfer cases and make adapters to mount the uh, caliper onto. Before I sell anything, I'm gonna be testing the frig out of it. Um, I've tested my rear disc brake mounts. They work perfect. I've not had any issues with those at all, so I'm, I'm comfortable selling those and having people put them on their trucks confidently, knowing that they're not going to fail. Um, the IFS hubs, I've run them for as long as I've had this 4Runner, and even when I had uh, my old Beastie 85. Well, I bet you guys can't guess what I've been doing. <laughs> working on that. Basically I'm trying to figure out uh, the contour and angle and stuff I need to build my uh, front gusset for the solid axle. So Pretty much got her down. Um, the only reason I'm making a cardboard template is so that I can take it into Mike at work and have him uh, put it into his CAD program and then I'm done. Then I can start making them. Okay, so this is basically the list of stuff that uh, I plan on offering so far. There's the machined IFS hubs. I don't know if I'm going to be uh, buying like the rotors and calipers and stuff to sell with the big brake kit on the front, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how she goes. And the rear disc, uh, rear disc kit all. I have to include my mounting bracket, but everything else, if you guys have got the solid axle, um, you'll have it already. Uh, front spring hangers, rear spring mounts, shackles, front axle gusset, and transfer case e-brake. Pretty sure I'll be able to do all this stuff. 
Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, head on over to the forum, analog56x.com slash forum, and head down to the AHF custom stuff and leave me a comment telling me uh, basically what you'd like to see. And if I can build it, I'll sure as hell try. So, um, be sure to check out the forum, analog56x.com slash forum. Uh, thanks for watching, and until tomorrow, take care, guys. Which is why they suggested using, or coming up with a kit for the transmission, transfer case, for the transfer case disc brake, e-brake. That's why they suggested coming up with a kit for the trans...